Hey guys, this is Matt from Patriot News Network 2, and today I have a video for you guys, and it has Carrie Lake, and she's in front of the PBS building where she was supposed to have a debate with Katie Hobbs, and Katie Hobbs and PBS made a deal where she doesn't have to do a debate with Carrie Lake, because she doesn't want to, because she thinks it'd be a, sh a circus. And she wants to do a show on her own for 30 minutes with PBS, and Carrie Lake could do the same. Well, Carrie Lake doesn't want to do that. She wants to do an actual debate in order for them to talk about the issues. Well, now Carrie Lake decided to do a press conference to talk about that, and I took a two-minute two section out where you could see what she's talking about. Not only that, she also talks about how... The media treats her compared to Katie Hobbs and how they allow Katie Hobbs to get away with almost anything. So let's go ahead and check out this video. What, what's your name? What, what's your name and what channel are you with? Katie Hobbs has given a lot of different reasons as to why she doesn't want to debate. She doesn't want it to be similar to the GOP primary, which she calls disjointed. And she also says that Carrie Lake is an election denier. What do you say to someone who calls Carrie Lake an election denier? She's given a lot of reasons why she won't appear, and none of them are true. And I've heard nobody ask her, well, then what was your reason for not appearing against Marco Lopez, your Democrat challenger? And I haven't heard that follow-up question from any of you with her. Do you know what the answer is? Why did she not appear? She was out talking with voters. She was out talking with voters. You know what she is? She's a total BSer. And if you guys are buying any of this, that means that you're not very smart. She's a BSer. She doesn't want to appear because she's afraid. She's coming up with every excuse in the book. And we all know it, guys. Let's face the facts. We all know these are excuses because she's afraid. Last week, she was on a stage separate from me, and she was given all softball questions. One of them was, name one thing that you've learned from the Latino community. She spent a minute and a half, uh, uh, um, uh, 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 could not think of one thing that she's learned from the Latino community, which is a third of our state. That should have been front page news. Let me tell you, if that would have been me on a debate stage or a forum stage, I guarantee you that the Arizona Repugnant would have written five articles about it and a bunch of you would be still talking about it. I haven't seen any front page articles on that. She stuttered and stammered her way through a softball question of what has she learned from the Latino community. She couldn't come up with one thing. And I didn't see any of the mainstream news covering it. You guys need to do some soul searching here. Are you political reporters or not? That's my question to you because the people deserve to hear this. And they're not hearing it from you. All right, guys, that's the end of the video. And Carrie Lake's 100% correct. The fact is the media treats conservatives and Republicans differently than they do the Democrats. And they go out there and they'll throw a Democrat softball question and let them flounder all over the place over the question and don't even report what happened during that interview. But if a Republican did the same thing, boom, it's out in first page news and they try to destroy that Republican's career. You know, and uh, it's something that we've seen over and over again in the last couple decades they've been doing this. But it's gotten worse and worse over the last two to three years. And I think it's going to keep on getting worse. The fact is... We're better off as Republicans not to go on MSNBC, CNN. But you know what? We do anyway. We go out there and we'll talk to the uh, people that don't agree with us. We'll talk to the people that will try to destroy us. Because the fact is, that's the only way you're going to change hearts and minds by doing so. And that's what Carrie Lake does. Now, guys, I want to know what you think. Comment down at the bottom. Don't forget, hit like and subscribe. And hit that uh, notification bell so you can get notified for any videos we put out. Peace.